Hi, I'm Alan Hitt and welcome to EasyGo Garage. Throughout the years, EasyGo has offered a variety of solutions for all of your towing needs. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing and demonstrating the latest option offered by EasyGo in the way of the permanent tow bar design. When installed, this accessory is a permanent fixture on the vehicle that stows conveniently into the bag wheel area on the back of the car. It's easy to install, easy to use, and requires very little maintenance. When installing this accessory or working with any tools, we always want to remember to wear our proper safety equipment. We're going to start on the back side of this vehicle by removing and discarding the two push clips in the bag strap of the vehicle. We also want to uninstall the motor access panel by removing the two screws that hold it in place. Now that we have the motor access panel removed, I want to bring your attention to these preformed X's on the back side of the panel. We want to drill out these lower two with a 7 16th drill bit and these upper two with a 9 30 seconds. We also want to go ahead and install the speed clips that are included with this hardware kit on the body tabs behind the access panel. Now that we have all of our holes drilled in the motor access panel, we need to assemble the lower tow bar retaining bracket. To do that, we we'll grab the rubber clasp and insert it through the two holes on the front side of the access panel. We'll grab the reinforcement bracket, put it through the two studs, put the two nuts on. Now what this does is this distributes the force of latching and unlatching the tow bar across that back panel to keep it from warping. Now we're going to go ahead and install the upper tow bar retaining bracket. To do that, we're going to insert the bracket behind the sweater basket bag straps through the two holes that we left when we removed those push clips earlier. Now we're going to go ahead and insert the hardware through the two holes. We're just going to get them finger tight for right now because we're going to have to adjust everything later. Now we want to install this lower bracket. In order to do that, we want to make sure that these ears are facing the downward direction. We're going to insert it right through here and bring in the hardware from the bottom side. We're going to leave this hardware loose for right now because we're going to have to come back and tighten it up once we make our adjustments. Now, the reason that we left this loose is because we're going to have to drill two 5 16th holes through the sweater basket itself. We're going to go ahead and mark that and we're going to drill them out. Now that we have our holes drilled, we want to bring in the hardware through the sweater basket. We're just going to leave these loose and we'll make all of our final adjustments at one time. To finish up the installation for the tow bar on the rear, we're going to go ahead and first insert the bushing through the hole in the floorboard. Make sure that we get our wave washer on the bushing. Next, we're going to physically insert the tow bar. Put the bolt through. And then from the bottom side, make sure that we get the washer in the nut. Now that we have everything tightened up, we're going to snap the tow bar in place, insert the pin. Everything is good and tight. Let's move on to the front. We already have the front receiver pre-assembled. The stacking order is you have your stud that passes through the receiver, your thrust washer, your flat washer, and your castle nut, and then it's all locked down with a cotter pin. We already also have our steering link installed onto this receiver. To install it, we're going to insert the stud through the bottom of the hole in the center, and we're going to lock it down with the lock nut.
With the front receiver installed and with the rear tow bar installed, I'm going to demonstrate now how you link the two up together. Simply pull the pin, drop the tow bar down, slide the receiver into the tow bar, and drop the pin in place. It's as simple as that. The car is ready to be towed. If you have any questions on anything that you've seen in today's video, please feel free to contact your local dealer or distributor. You can also contact us directly or through shopeasygo.com. For your reference, we've included a list of part numbers at the end of today's video. As always, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.